What's up guys? So today is the day after Christmas. This is just kind of an ongoing vlog. Buzz, really? I literally just started. Just give me one, one second, okay? What? One second. Just one second. I wanted to show you guys. So after Christmas, I'm feeling lovely. All kinds of lovely. I'm sure you guys are feeling this way as well. We have a little more treats, you know, a little, little more frequently. Basically, my diet was shit <laughs> for the last three days. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, but I'm going to tell you guys very shortly, just give you all an overview on how I'm feeling, how I approach the post-holiday weight gain and all of that stuff. I wanted to show you all a very simple food haul from Target, just getting back to our normal routine after the holidays. So just some staples to our weekly diet uh, for matte smoothies I always use some soy milk and then for my coffees I like I prefer cashew milk the unsweetened vanilla but they didn't have any so I got regular as well as some unsweetened vanilla almond milk lots and lots of veggies so increasing the micronutrient intake as well as fiber again because I had no fiber this week some lettuce strawberries just regular instant white rice Matt likes to make some tacos, so I've got some taco seasoning as well as tortillas. Um, just tried one of these Aloha bars, which these are pretty good. These are not too bad. And then my favorite meat alternative, these are the Morning Star Farms chicken strips. Put these away, and then like I said, I'm gonna show you guys my game plan. Talk to you guys about the um, post Christmas and post holiday weight gain, bloating, all of that, how I deal with it, and how I encourage you guys to handle it coming into the new year. So I'll see you guys in the next class. So I think the game plan with this meal is to use these little romaine lettuce cups as little boats. So I'm gonna take the salad, which is um, two servings of instant white rice, two tablespoons of nutritional yeast, 100 grams of spinach, one serving of Morning Star Farms chicken strips, and some sweet bell peppers kind of spoon it onto here and make little tacos. This is a very, very good high volume meal. I'll put the macros on the screen for you guys. Um, very high volume, very filling, micronutrient dense. So this is a very, very good meal to start off that post holiday recovery process, essentially just getting micronutrients and fiber back in your body. Oh, and don't forget dessert, even after Christmas weekend. Today is Tuesday, the Tuesday after Christmas. And first, let me show you guys my pants that I got because I think I talked in a recent vlog about how I can't find any jeans or normal pants to fit my legs. Well, I was at the Rock Gym the other day and the brand that my climbing shoes are, that's called So Ill, uh, they have active jeans, which they're basically jeggings, but I mean, they pass for me. So I got them, let me show you guys. So as you can see, they are just regular, like, black jeans. They're a little high-waisted, but I mean, I'll take it. They're like super stretchy, like super stretchy. But this is the brand. So ill. They were, I think online they're a little more expensive. They were $40 at my gym. I'm pretty pumped about these. Um, and you're supposed to be able to wear them climbing too, which is fabulous. So just was excited to show that to you guys. They have a bunch of different colors too. Holidays. Let's talk holidays. Don't have a script as usual. I always just like to talk to you guys. Um, I don't like to have anything prepared because it feels more organic to me to just discuss honestly uh, my thoughts and struggles. So backtrack a bit. I have dieted the last two holiday seasons. So 2014, I had just come from a show December 6th. I was reverse dieting out of my show, so I was pretty uh, consistent over the holidays and tracking my intake. Same thing last year, I had my show, reverse dieted after that show and through the holidays. This year has been different. This weekend, I went way, way overboard. Like, you guys probably don't believe that I, I ate a lot a lot <laughs> and it's just because i wanted to i was with a lot of family we spent the whole day saturday with matt's family we spent the whole day sunday with my family we had some holiday parties and family get-togethers before that and i just didn't didn't worry about it 
And what's so cool is that my mentality now has been healthier than I ever thought it could be regarding food and overeating. And I wanted to talk to you guys about how to deal with the post-holiday weight gain, the post-holiday struggles. I know a lot of you are probably experiencing some food guilt regarding um, how much you ate. Maybe you're a few pounds up on the scale. And to help emphasize the point that I'm trying to get across to you guys, I weighed myself Sunday night. So after all of the festivities, I weighed myself Sunday night. Um, and then I'm weighing myself every day this week to see how my weight changes. And I'm already down six pounds since Sunday night. Now, how am I doing this? I'm doing this by just going back to normal. <laughs> And this is probably not what you guys want to hear because most people are pushing, you know, the quick fix diets, how to get the holiday pounds off, how to make up for what you did over the weekend, the holiday weekend, how to eliminate the extra water weight and the extra bloat and the extra pounds that you're probably seeing on the scale. I'm here to tell you the worst thing that you can do is go on another extreme diet at this time. Just go back to what was working for you before. If you are working out three or four days a week and lightly tracking your intake or you were meal prepping, go back to exactly what you were doing before the holiday started. That's the absolute best thing you can do. Realize that it's all relative. You just went through the holidays. You probably ate some extra food. Just accept it. Own up to your actions. Take responsibility for what you ate enjoy it and move on with your life. I can't tell you this enough. I think I talked about this a lot in my vlogmas, but just move on with your life. Food is food, let it be that. Don't let food dictate how you feel about yourself. Don't let it fuel this self-loathing and guilt and hate towards your body and tell yourself that you have no willpower and all of the things that you should have done, that you could have done. There's no sense in doing that. And I think that by placing further worry, on it, you're actually going to cause more damage to your body than anything. Whenever we stress about things, we increase our cortisol levels and our body stores fat whenever our cortisol levels are high. So the worst thing to do is to continue worrying about it. I also think that it's a very bad approach to try and do all of this extra cardio or really hard workouts to try and make up for the calories. I've done this in the past to where I eat a lot over the weekend and then I come back and I do, you know, some extra cardio during the week or I do two a days to make up for the calories. I think that this further instills that it's okay to do that and it's okay to punish yourself with workouts because it perpetuates that mentality that, oh, I ate extra, I just need to do extra cardio. And I don't think that sets yourself up for a healthy relationship with food or workouts. So I don't encourage you to do anything extra. Like I said, just go back to what you were doing before the holidays and just stick to it. I promise you that that's gonna pay off so much better in the long run than punishing yourself with workouts, than trying to make up for it, than restricting your calories further. It's not only gonna help your body just regulate back to a normal level, it's gonna create a more positive relationship in your mind with food and with workouts and with yourself, because I think that practicing grace and compassion towards yourself as you would have towards others does so much for you in the long run. I always tell my clients to think of how they would encourage a friend in this exact situation. So say if a friend came to you and was really concerned and they said, hey, I ate so much this weekend, I feel so bad, I feel so fat, I feel so gross, what should I do? I do extra cardio, I need to punish myself with workouts, I just feel like a piece of crap. Chances are, you're a good friend, you're not gonna tell them, yeah, you really are a piece of shit. You look really bad, you don't deserve to have those treats, you didn't deserve to eat those cookies, you should have tracked your macros, you should have taken your food scale to your family Christmas, you really should have done better. I don't think that a good friend would tell me that. So think about how you would talk to a friend in this situation. You would probably tell them, hey, it's okay, it happens. You know, you're human, we make mistakes. Uh, you enjoyed yourself, that's it. Just, I'm glad you enjoyed your holiday. Just move on with your life. That's what I would tell a friend and that's what I try and tell myself and that's what I want you guys to try and tell yourself regarding the holidays and 
moving on from any food guilt that you might have. It's completely normal to feel that way, especially with the dieting industry. You guys are gonna start seeing more ads for teas, wraps, programs, meal delivery services, gyms. You're gonna be seeing a lot of advertisements because New Year is whenever people get really motivated and that's great, that's fantastic. If the New Year motivates you, let it continue to motivate you. But don't let it trick you into falling into that pit of yo-yoing and thinking, I have to burn off this extra stuff. I have to choose this new program because they're promising me really fast results. Just accept it happened. Get back on your normal program. If you're looking for a normal program, there's a lot of great coaches out there, a lot of great programs, but find one that you can see yourself maintaining for the long term. Cannot encourage that to you guys enough. So I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. I'd be more than happy to answer them either in the comment section or in a future video. Questions about coaching, about programs, about moving on from holidays, about food guilt, about all of this. Leave them in the comments below. I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I cannot say this enough. I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in to Vlogmas. It was so much fun to put all the videos together. It was very time consuming, not gonna lie. It was awesome to see you guys engaging in the comment section and hitting that like button, letting me know that you guys were enjoying the videos. That means so much to me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.